Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and I'm just sitting here in my robe drinking my morning coffee, looking sexy as hell as usual. And for those of you who say when I do these videos in my robe that I don't look sexy as hell, nobody cares what you think. I didn't ask you shit. Now, some of you saw my status update yesterday on the fan page with me talking about time under tension. And a lot of you get the idea that I honestly really don't care a lot about time under tension in the way that people have described it. Now let's get through some of the myths on this real quick and let's get to the core of the matter. The term time under tension is based upon some good original concepts and some positive ideas, but it is just a made up concept. We don't have any sort of real evidence that more time under tension, irrespective of how you achieve that time under tension, under a weight induces more muscle growth. Now we know that doing more volume, more reps, for example, if you can take 315 and lift it five times, you can probably induce more muscle growth if you can lift it nine or 10 times versus five. If you do three sets of five, you're probably going to induce a little more muscle growth than if you just did one set of five. Both of those ways you improve time under tension with the same weight and you probably stimulated more growth. But people take this and they come up with the most stupid shit I've ever seen, like the super slow training, which is the exact opposite. If you move a weight forward more slowly versus faster with the same weight, you had more time under tension going up more slowly, but you recruited less muscle fibers. No exercise physiologist would even disagree with that point. So therefore you've increased time under tension, but you've lost stimulation. So in that case, time under tension reduced growth. Now we used to think, as I pointed out a lot, that slow negatives might induce more muscle growth than just controlled fast negatives. But the truth is that was studied about 20, 25 years ago and we found that there was no actual benefit to doing them slower versus just doing them controlled. And there's more data emerging now going the other direction that faster negatives may actually cause more muscle growth than slow negatives. And that's not even getting into the whole concept of things like overspeed negatives, which is using things like bands to make your negatives faster than free fall speed and catching them at the bottom. And that's a whole nother animal. So if you increase time under tension by a slower negative, you haven't caused any extra growth and you may have caused slightly less growth. So time under tension is really an arbitrary concept that's being used sometimes to promote bad training methods. Now it is used oftentimes because novice lifters and people new to the gym have terrible form and making them lift the weight more slowly can keep them from bouncing the weight all over the place and training like an idiot and hurting themselves. So it's good in that respect, but when you start teaching that moving a weight more slowly is going to cause more muscle growth by its own merit, rather than just because it's used to teach people form early on, then you're actually teaching bullshit. It really has no place in the training world. So I really hate this term time under tension. It was originally started by some coaches and very good coaches out there who intended well, but the direction it went in years following has basically made it a really stupid training concept and I hate the term. And so I wanted to clarify that as an answer to the question I get all the time when I discuss training concepts down in the comments. Well, what about time under tension? Well, there you have it. What about time under tension? Who cares unless you mean doing more work with the same weight? All right, guys, so that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it has been informative and I will talk to you next time.